In Creo 12, we have improved the user experience within Creo Flow Analysis by supporting the use of datum points and cross sections when defining results. Previously, the user wasn't able to use these references. Here in this assembly, we have some datum points in our model tree and some cross sections already defined. Now in Creo Flow Analysis, you can create a monitor point and select one of the datum points from the menu. The next step is to create an XY plot for the desired variable and then open the XY plot panel to view the graph for this variable. In this case, we will rerun the simulation to view the progress for this monitor point by seeing the data in the graph. This gives us an accurate position to measure the pressure in this example. This is a highly requested enhancement from our user community. Next, we will create a section view. Here I can now select any of my Creo cross sections from my model instead of creating a new one as I previously did in earlier releases. This improved workflow gives the user more control over their references by using features from Creo that are associative and precisely where the user desires to get results.